All right, today's project is a custom build utensil holder. All right, so this is my next step of one of the little things I want to do in the bus is I have all these utensils, and uh, the drawer method is nice. However, one thing, um, I don't have space in my drawers for my bus, as you will see from probably more future videos I do, and I like my utensils readily available. Now, one of the issues going down the road, of course, things bouncing around, I just... As just to see how things would be if I made just sort of like cup holder method for these you see this kind of floats out all around it would be kind of noisy what I'm going to do instead is I have this piece of pallet wood I'm going to uh, plane down make it nice and smooth and what I'd like to see if I can do is to custom drill holes that these will sit down in to keep from wiggling around so this will set up about this high things will sit down in and I will have the front covered uh, to make it look a little bit nicer I, uh, and give it a little bit more support as well maybe even some space to hide things maybe not uh, but my goal is to have this set up so that these things will slide down in and less likely to, to flop around and easily accessible so I'm going to get started I'm going to finish planing this down first this will be experiment number one, and um, we'll see how happy I am with it when it's done. All right, so if it, let me bring you up to date. I've done a lot of work. Uh, I'll explain uh, how I did this and the tools I used. Now, this is the basic setup so far. I have my uh, ladles that least are least likely to use, but I still like to have them up here. I find I use a spatula every day from... <coughs> every day for my breakfast uh, and then usually this one here uh, when I'm doing a little bit of cooking or stirring occasionally I use these um, I still have them up here because I do like uh, spatulas from time to time this for coating which I don't use very often uh, I'm pretty happy actually with this part right here I was trying to figure out how to keep my forks and spoons from going down through the the forks it's kind of borderline but I think it'll be okay uh, the last one I was trying to figure out were the knives because I don't have um, tools what I wanted to do was use something really thin and to create some slots for the knives to sit down in but uh, I'm glad I did this because now the uh, the knives would have sat actually kind of high maybe flopped around so what I did is I had some PVC tubing. Uh, the hole I cut using a hole saw was slightly bigger than the tubing itself, so I did have to use a little bit of electrical tape to get that to fit snug. No big deal. I'll find a way to uh, cover this up and make it look a little bit nicer. What I did on the back side, as nobody will see this along here, is I used a couple of wood screws going down through just enough to tap into the side of the PVC to keep this from slipping down. What I also did on the bottom, I will tip this up so you can see. Obviously, I don't want the knives falling through. So that uh, wooden circle that you see there was actually came from the top. And I had to sand it down a little bit to get a sn to fit snug inside. And I drilled a hole inside of the PVC tubing and I put a screw in to hold that in place. Now, again, yeah, this is not done yet. I will have some sides and back on this because I want it to look really nice. But let me walk you over to show you the different things I use. The saw, uh, kind of old beat up saw, so I was okay using this to cut the PVC tube that I needed. I just used this saw just to cut that piece to the right length. Uh, this is what was really helpful over here these hole saws i have a complete set well, well i i say that i have a full set that we use at home i'm sure you know uh, people in the business have larger sets and as i brought the utensils over i measured them the widest part based on uh, these hole saws and use those to create the custom fit uh, for each item and even on the uh, smallest one this is the smallest one right here that I had used for the the forks and the spoons and this is the largest one I used to create that hole 
for the uh, knives that I have set up. All right, so here's my next step. I found the pieces that I want to use for these sides and front. And no, this is not sanded down yet, but it will be. <clears throat> now, the only drawback of using something really thin like this is I've got nothing for this to nail into. So what I'll have to do next is I am going to put some uh, supports inside on each side here. Uh, this, I will be able to use finish nails to put the front on. However, what I do want to uh, use on the inside is either L brackets or pocket screws to hold this into the wall. I haven't decided which I'm going to do yet. So obviously I'll need to figure that out before I attach uh, these on uh, each side. All right, so the next step is I have these two pieces here that are going to provide uh, some support for the front piece and the side. Uh, what I need to do is I'm just simply going to glue these to the outer section, making sure they're flush with the front. I'll need to let that set uh, before I can take the next step. This is my front here because I have the screws holding this in in the back. And I have some clamps, some wood glue. And then once this sets, once this sets, I'll be able to take the next step um, of putting the L brackets on, sanding everything down, staining it. Now the front piece, I will have to wait uh, until everything is out in the bus to put the front piece on. Uh, I'm either going to use very small finish nails or very short screws and countersink and then fill in, but I will probably end up using finish nails. But let me just at least get this part going and then we'll go from there. All right, so I uh, got my clamps all in place. I will let this set uh, overnight. All right, it's time to see how that glue did for that piece that's going to hold everything else together. So I did these to give this some support mainly and to give me a piece to mount the front that's going to cover all the hanging utensils apart. All right, so that will sit like that. So the next step is to sand all of this, make this look nice, sand the front piece. Uh, and I will uh, also be using uh, L brackets. Before I put that front piece on, I will need a way to mount and hold this to the wall itself. All right, so I'm going to stain this and then uh, I'm actually going to attach the L brackets out in the bus to this and, uh, and take care of it right out there. <clears throat> I want to make sure I have a good part of the wall to connect to, which I know I do, but you know, better be safe than sorry uh, instead of trying to guess from in here. So I've got the, this is called uh, natural number, I think 209. And I'm trying to keep things, because the bus is small and I don't have a lot of lighting yet, I'm trying to keep things uh, lighter so you really you won't see a huge difference but I think it'll look it'll still look pretty nice I really don't need to get down inside those but I probably will to uh, keep it all consistent all right, let's do the side see if that shows up uh, I like that it's kind of bringing the grain out in it a little bit too. Hi, right, for the first two uh, L brackets, uh, I'll be putting these, this is the top portion. Uh, the other two will be going up here. Now, even though 
uh, this part here is a little bit further away from the wall that's fine the screw is plenty long enough and I'm actually deliberately going to put these in just a little bit further uh, because I don't want this to push this part against uh, away from the wall I want it a more secure fit put these four in and then uh, mount it to the wall Alright, the last thing to do is going to be this front piece like that. Uh, there really isn't much <clears throat> unused space uh, in behind there, so that's why I decided to not make this uh, anything that would uh, you know open up at all. This is just going to be uh, for the purposes of covering the front up so you don't see the utensils hanging down. Uh, what I decided to do uh, like I said, is the finished nails, so I'm going to get to that. All right, so now, uh, again, it doesn't. This isn't really a lot of uh, inefficient use of space yet. I've got some under here. Uh, if I really wanted to, maybe I could have done something in the side, but it wasn't really that much of an issue. Now, at least, I can put the bendable ones. These will go right down like this, put right in there, and then these right here. These are the ones I use the most. And sometimes the wooden spoons, spatulas. I really only need two, but I do have these three. Uh, rarely I use that brush thing. Let's see, we have uh, forks. Spoons, uh, knives face down. Uh, now, once I get to where I'm going, I can always, you know, something that I'm not using a lot uh, but want to leave out is maybe like the knives. I'll probably have those in a different spot. I would have liked to have had more space in front here to do something in the front, which I, 
Uh, I don't really have to have because I wanted to be able to turn these faucets on and on. So now the only tensiles I really have to worry about, I don't need two of these, but I do have two. This, uh, I ran a space for peeler, which I rarely, rarely use, and my uh, three uh, cutting knives. All right, so this, all right, so here's my utensil holder. Uh, my mitts for hot items. And instead of having everything piled on top of each other under the sink area, now I can just uh, get to it when I need to. And I can tell you when this is going down the road, this it's not going to be an issue of these things coming out. All right, so uh, I hope you found this video, if nothing else, entertainment. If you have a way to improve on this, be my guest to suggest it in the comments below. That can only help someone else who is doing the same thing. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share.